<laughs> Did you like that little trick there where I flipped the camera, right? So I'm just in town here. I says, you know what? May as well do a video here. Not that pole, that's blocking it. Do a video when we have a nice little background there. Look at that, the, the Liffey in the way, right? I have me, me watch on time there, right? So just, I actually learned something in the last five minutes there, right? Um, I was just watching a video there from one of Grant Cardone's men, Jared Lant, very, very clever guy. Um, when you are trying to sell something to somebody, when you go into a meeting with someone, so when you're going in to meet a client, I'm not talking about when you go into a boardroom and like you're just going to sit there and don't, but when you go in to try and sell something to somebody and you want to tell them something, come on, go boy there. <laughs> uh, when you want to sell them something, just ask them one question and then shut your goddamn mouth, right? The very first question you need to ask them when you walk into the meeting is, right? So, tell me from the start again exactly what's going on, just in case I forget anything. Boom. And then shut your mouth. Say absolutely nothing, right? Let the people speak and continue to let them speak. And when they stop, when they begin to stop speaking, ask them some questions to further on the conversation. And by the time these people finally finish speaking, they will tell you every single thing they, they have um, decided about whether to take you on as a client or whether to hire you to do the job, why do you want to hire you, why do you didn't hire somebody else, why they're hurting you over somebody else, what the price issue is, they might even tell you their budget and all these other different things. So obviously depending on what product you're selling will, will dictate kind of differently what the, 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 the info they would give you, but they will tell you all of their concerns, all of their hopes, all of their desires for the, pro the, the project that they're taking you on board for. And once they then tell you those needs, wants and desires, you can go and address them in your pitch that you give back to them and you can show them all the good things from your product or service that will hit home with them. There's no point in telling people, you know, there's no point in trying to sell your product to someone on the base of like a, a five year warranty if they're, they're scraping the barrel in terms of the budget and stuff like that. So you need to talk about the value for money and stuff like that. So, you know, I was just watching that video a couple of minutes ago there and like, boom. That's 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 spot on. That that is exactly something where I do not do correctly. So you know today is a, is a day, and, and I've learned something. So uh, hopefully you guys can learn the the same thing from that. Um, is this my two minutes up? I don't know. I haven't got my phone to beep there. I just I didn't even I, I didn't plan on doing this. I was just coming in. So have a little look at Dublin City on it on a kind of nice day. You know. So there's where we at there. But uh, look at guys, stay cool and just remember the next time you go into a meeting or you go to meet somebody, ask them that question. The question again is so. Tell me again from the start, just so I don't miss anything. Where are we at? And then shut your goddamn mouth. Take it easy.